Hey guys, it's Channel 9 Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So, this is the first video for the year 2018 and Happy New Year! I hope the past 6, 5, 6 days has been well for you. I say 6 because it's like Saturday for me already but it's probably not Saturday yet for some people. But either way, I hope the past 6 days have been well for you. Um, I have to go back to work as anyone else should and well, I guess nothing's changed that much. Um, either way, whether your 2017 was good or bad, I hope things are going to be better for you this year. I hope that you'll be able to weather through anything that challenges you and that at the end of the day, you'll still be, um, you know, kicking it and like, you know, just power through it, I guess. So, as any YouTuber would on their first video for the year, they would usually talk about their goals or their solutions and new year's resolutions and things they want to do for this year. That is what this video is. But also, as a disclaimer, I didn't really write any new year's resolutions. Uh, if anything, they'd probably just be rehashes of what I wanted to do last year. And it isn't as bad as it sounds. Uh, it's more of like a continuation or taking up again what I was doing last year and redoing it again this year. But I don't think you have any new goals or any anything extravagant like travel the world or anything like that. So let's jump into my goals slash resolutions for 2018. So as a personal, let's just, you know, quickly pass through this. As a personal thing, I want to exercise again. Last year, I achieved half of it. I um, exercised for six months. Uh, not straight, but I did exercise for six months and then I got injured in June. And that was history, <laughs> which is unfortunate. So I do wanna exercise again, take it up again. Hopefully not get injured this time, because when I get injured and it lasts like two weeks to recover, that just completely makes me lazy for the rest of the year and the exercise goal goes down the drain. So let's, I will try my best not to get my ankles sprained again and let's just hope for the best. So let's move on to art goals. Um, I want to live stream again every Sunday. Uh, I've talked about this several times in older videos, but I never really committed to it. But I got a new monitor now, which you will be seeing an unboxing for in the future, and that solves my problem of like my screen not really showing properly, and it made it hard to live stream. I also have new internet now, and it's super fast. So that's another roadblock out of there. The only roadblock. I have now, if anything, would be how old my computer or my, my laptop is. It's turning four years old in May, and it's getting on the slower side. I guess I, I guess I need to clean it up a little. We'll see. I also want to return to a Saturday video uploading schedule on YouTube. I'm a bit failing right now as it's almost 2 p.m. and I still have to export this video, but I'll upload it today, and that's that. Um, art goals. I want to do more acrylics and oils. I've mentioned this so many times. <laughs> Hopefully I do it. I need to do it. Like I'm getting too much watercolor stuff. And I want to do more colored pencils too, I guess. I want to draw more. I want to sketch more. I want to just increase again the amount of art that I'm doing in a year, in a month, in a week maybe even. Even if it's just sketching or if it's just line art or if it's just like coloring. I don't know. I'll find a way to draw more despite my schedule. I want to explore more color palettes in line with that. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know my defaults are blues, purples, and like, yeah, that's pretty much my default. Blues, purples, and violets. I want to do more reds, oranges, browns, greens, like expand my world, expand the colors that I used for my artworks, and try to keep away from those default colors too much and make it more like interesting and vibrant and stuff like that. I also want to do more backgrounds. I really, really, really have a hard time doing backgrounds. I usually get stumped on what to do with them. So let's hope I manage to resolve that. I want to really do this this year. I say I'm a bit more confident in my skills somewhat. And I do have like the technical background for it. I just need the patience for it. And let's see if I can cultivate that this year. I do want to do more realistic stuff. Uh, as you know, my channel is mostly fan art or anime or stuff like that. 
and the fan grilling over art materials but I do have like technical lessons on realistic stuff I just need to get back into that and just revive the skill now since you're halfway through the video let's talk about something a bit important if you've been following me on Instagram or my Facebook even I may have mentioned that I'm trying to work on a new brand for the channel as you know my channel username is Shadow Knight Paladin it's been that since I was in high school my deviant art is also Shadow Knight Paladin it's also my gamer tag it's pretty much my brand um, the thing is when I was sort of working on the rebrand for the 2017 videos like you know changing the title card and the ending card and like the um, YouTube social media profile pictures and stuff when I was working on the brand for it it felt like not me anymore or as an artist it doesn't really sync with me anymore so that's the thing i kind of do want to change my username and my band from shadow knight paladin to speaker of the stars now speaker of the stars is also a username i've been using for quite some time already it's about as old as shadow knight paladin to be honest it was my, my alternate name and it's also what i have for instagram and something else I forgot. Like I have it and I use it, but it's not as prolific as Shadow Knight Paladin. I use it when like Shadow Knight Paladin isn't available. So I am gonna switch to Speak of the Stars soon. I just need to finish the banding for it, like the logos and the colors and what I wanna like my own personal banding guidelines. Um Shadow Knight Paladin, my current name will remain as my gamer tag. So if I'm doing gaming or if I'm it's an account that's not for art. It will be Shadow Knight Paladin, but my art related stuff will switch to Speak of the Stars. Mainly because I feel like it fits my style more now. Um, Shadow Knight Paladin, the name itself was born out of indecision, and being an edgy teenager <laughs> when I made my Deviant Art account. So it's like Shadow Knight, which is like either Necromancer or something like that, or Dark Knight, um, was combined with Paladin, and I like both classes and I wanted to use either for my username and I thought hey let's just combine Shadow Knight and Paladin oh it's so cool and it's cool as a gamer tag but when you're doing art on YouTube it doesn't really sound like you know a channel for art it sounds like a channel for gaming I guess but speak of the stars feels more flexible it lets me play a bit more with like the artist thing and if you watch my lantern pins um, speed paint for Christmas you know I love doing galaxies and stars and that kind of background so it really fits me more now so that's pretty much the reason why I'm gonna change banding I might upload another video huh maybe not actually I'll talk about it more when I start using the new banding but for the next couple of videos I guess for January and Feb I'll still be uploading stuff with my old banding because those videos were edited last year and I never found the place for them to upload in between the Christmas and the New Year video so and I haven't even really actually done the band the new logo for Speaker of the Stars yet so I'll be working on that soon and actually I'll just talk about the bad thing more and I have it more fleshed out when I start using it but soon you'll see me changing my username so don't be surprised it will become speak of the stars and my da sadly um i don't have a core account so it's gonna remain shadow night paladin until i have enough money to buy like a three month membership just to change it and like add folders maybe i don't know and then for my youtube channel my name will change but my um url is still rainfire shadow which is so old that's like when I first made it but since we changed the mechanics on how to change your URL I need to have 100 su subscribers before I manage to change my URL so that will remain me Fire Shadow but my name will be Speaker of the Stars um what else oh yeah even my Facebook account will be Speaker of the Stars my Instagram is already Speaker of the Stars so that's no problem it's just consolidating and updating and making me sound less like a kid with a YouTube channel <laughs> um, yeah so yes good we'll be soon saying goodbye to the immature edgy teenage username 
and something more, you know, uh, cooler and flexible, I think. But actually, maybe in two to three years, I'll find it so edgy and immature again, but whatever, I'll stick to it. So yeah, oh, um, I have a few minutes left. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. Um, for the video, I'm actually using the Clodada Higansai Tambi watercolors. I got it for Christmas from my parents because they support me being an art uh, uh, enthusiast, art materials enthusiast. Um, and I also use the Faber Castell um, Polycarpus pencils. And yeah, this is my New Year piece. Happy New Year, and I will see you around.